Yes, it's, uh, it is very sad that um, South Africa, through our late President Mandela, had invited uh, Abdullah Mukhshalan to visit him to speak about the Kurdish struggles. And South Africa has always supported countries that were fighting for self-determination and for justice for minority groups and any oppression. And it's a sad event that uh, Okhalan was uh, arrested, uh, well, kidnapped in Kenya by Mossad agents and Turkish agents and, and taken back before he could meet Nelson Mandela. And it's, a, it's so, it's, it was a blow, I think, for the Kurdish struggle for justice and equality because um, if that meeting had taken place, I'm sure South Africa would have been far more involved and supportive and uh, they would have put a lot of pressure on the Turkish government even before Erdogan became president. And uh, there would have been, because of our experience that we went through for reconciliation and to bring peace and harmony and unite the people of a country, uh, that opportunity didn't come and it was lost. And it is a loss to Turkey that it happened. And it's, it's not just a loss to the Kurdish peoples because um, it would have made a big difference in history. And, <coughs> and he was, Nelson Mandela was on the Robben Island as a prisoner for 20, four years until he was taken out and they brought him out to negotiate. And, uh, and now we see uh, Abdullah Oshalan is um, on an island too. There's all the symbolic uh, examples of the two great leaders. There's a deep bond between our struggles and then our liberation and freedom. And uh, we can't say that we would st stop because we have our liberation. If you remember, Nelson Mandela said that South Africa and the world will not be free until Palestine is free. If he had met with uh, Abdullah Hochalan, I can tell you he would have also said that South Africa and the world will never be free until the Kurds are also free. And so there is a deep bond. Uh, what needs to be done in South Africa is to promote the struggle of the Kurdish people and to heighten the uh, support for the Kurdish struggle. When Ma Mandela was put on trial, he was facing a death sentence for treason. But the judge knew that he and his comrades, there were about eight of them, um, could not be sentenced to death. It might have caused problems. So the pressure of dealing with a majority force of people by a minority forced the government to always be careful and make certain concessions, even though they were the worst uh, force in, on, in our world uh, compared to any other country where they legislated and put people as second-class citizens without rights. So with Abdullah Hochalan, there's a difference because you have 
uh, so, so, sorry, Nelson Mandela was put on Robben Island, but he had certain privileges, we call it that. It's a privilege to see your wife once a month, to write letters, I think one letter a month, and to also they could see lawyers. So those basic kind of rights, they could not take that away. So they did fight for more rights, but they were organized with a lot of comrades and people who were all at Take the case of uh, Ochalan, and you look at a single leader, a powerful leader, but he is representing from the Kurdish government perspective a minority population. And the Turkish people are in the majority and Apartheid was an illegitimate government of a minority people ruling. Here you have a so-called democracy of everybody having a vote, even though you can rig a, an election and do things, but it gives a certain amount of strength to a democratic government to abuse minorities, because the minorities cannot enforce themselves on them. You have a situation of impunity taking place where you can have a majority government punishing, hurting, and causing pain and suffering to minority groups. A very similar example, without going into details, is like Sri Lanka, where the Tamil minorities are complete. There was a genocide there in 2009. And so minorities face immense trouble. And as we saw in our meetings today, it is uh, Turkey has the power over minority groups and they can use their propaganda, their media to keep up an image of a great democracy.